Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. Thanks for joining today. We are gonna be putting together Amazon boxes so that you could do something like this, uh, this Amazon ornament, which I think is so stinking cute. All right, before we get started though, I just have to ask, I know, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. I really, 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 really appreciate it. All right, let's get started. So I'm not gonna show you actually how to do this because I'm gonna explain it to you and it will be enough. Whoa, I got a rock stuck there. Um, and it'll be enough to um, for you guys to get going on it. So we're gonna fold these boxes, which is super easy to do. And then the ornament is from the Dollar Tree and it's great because it's this little cap down here so you could just stick everything in. Stick the boxes in. The faux snow is also from there. So I absolutely love it. And this, it's so easy, it's just here comes Amazon, right? Two different types of fonts, Amazon is one font and then here comes is the other font. It's about three inches, super easy to put together, okay? All right, let's talk about these boxes. So you can see, this is a print and cut job. So I have the design space tutorial on how to do that. Now my printer, the reason why you see that I individually cut this, which it's actually pretty easy to do, and you know I've been having wrist issues and I was still able to cut these because they're all straight lines. So you just cut, 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 and you're good. Um, but this is why. My printer does not grab the paper well, and this paper is thick, so you can kind of see um, on screen, which I'm looking there, this line is not straight. In theory, my Cricut should be able to cut this because it should be reading the sensor lines and it should know, you know, this one is, you know, a quarter of an inch in from this line and it should be able to cut, but I know it won't cut well and that's why I did a hand cut. Um, but for these other ones where I print printed on regular copy paper, like laser paper, then I had the Cricut cut it and you can see here, I'm gonna dump it out. Look at how small this little label is. That's a mailing label. I mean, look, it fits on my thumb, my thumbnail. So that's how cute and small it is. But these are so easy to do. I did add tissue paper, so I'm gonna show you right now. Um, but so this is the tissue paper to add kind of like a little bit of fluff so it's not so flat. I mean, it's still pretty flat because it's the type of, you know, but you can make it thicker, fluffier if you wanted to. All right, so let me grab my ruler and I'm gonna show you how I did it. So, okay, my ruler is not here. That's okay, we'll use this. So anything with a straight edge, right? Anywhere that there is a black line, we're folding. So I'm gonna do it like this. And it's super easy. And it's so much fun, and I didn't realize how many of you guys love this project and wanted it. Um, so, uh, fold it all up, right? And then I'm just gonna fold it in like this. Everything gets folded. And what's great is, I mean, these Amazon boxes get so messed up in the mail, and they look dirty, and they're not all even, so it's, it doesn't matter if this is perfect or not. It doesn't need to be perfect, right? All right, so now that everything is folded, I'm gonna take some tissue paper, just little pieces, kind of smush it up and stick it in just so that my, my package isn't flat, okay? And then just add your glue. And just Fold it in. Oh my gosh, that's too thick. <laughs> well, there's no such thing as too thick. We can make it work. I'm gonna fold it in. And if there's a side that looks better, just use that side. So I didn't like the black that was left. I'm gonna cut that off. So give me a second. I'm gonna trim off just a little bit. Okay, so that's down. I like putting on an extra label. So even though the label's already on there, and I don't know if I have one that size, um, cause I've done so many, um, I would put on another one. It just looks more real, cause then it's not flat and it's the label itself. 
So here is one. Now, I don't know if you guys have this, but if you do, because I have it from my other projects. This is the Fuser tool. Do you guys recognize it? I've done like the shaker bookmarks. So it has like this little scoring piece. So I love this one to do this. And it's got those little dots on there, just like the real mailing bag. So I love that. So here is one, okay? The yellow one is the same thing. You just fold up all of it and then you have the little tissue paper inside so it's not so flat. It looks just like it. All right, so I'm gonna move this aside. This one, I'm gonna show you really quickly how I cut um, one of them. I'm not gonna cut it all, but I'm gonna show you why I think it's easy and you can do it. Um, I cut in all one direction at a time. So anything running up and down this way, I'm cutting right now. So it's super fast and it's easy on my hands. Then now I'm cutting all this direction. So now I'm just cutting this and see things start to fall off. <laughs> right, turn it this way, so you get the idea. All right, this one is done. What's nice about all of these packages is that, like I said, anywhere where there is a line, you wanna fold. So I pre-folded this one, but you know, you could just do it again. So this one is really easy to do as well. So here you start to kind of, just anywhere that there's a line, when you start to fold it, it all comes into place. Oh, I didn't do this one. So you see it starts to fold up and then you just add glue and this is craft paper, brown craft paper. It's about, I, it feels like 80 pound cardstock paper. So these two little tabs, they're gonna go on the inside. This reminds me of like, um, you know, when you box up gifts and they come like, it's literally putting, folding together a box. So what I do is I like to fold these two flaps together and I'll put glue on it. and then fold this up. And I just kind of hold it together to make sure that it dries in place. And that's one side. Okay. And then I'm gonna fold this side and glue this, this one as well. And then you're gonna have basically a box. Okay. So I'm gonna hold that together. And then, so now you have this little, oops, this little box with a flap on top, right? So that's gonna go down. All these pieces right here are gonna fold in and then you're gonna put glue on it and that's it. And I'm being impatient, I'm not letting it dry. Okay, so that's all down, okay? So now I'm gonna put glue on these three tabs. Now this file comes with extra black tape. So I think it would be really cool to print that out as well. I did not print that out because I ran out of time, but um, that just looks more real because it's sticking on top. It's not pre-printed on the actual box itself like it is now. And this will dry in a second, but see look, that was so fast and easy, right? And then we're gonna put a label on this one uh, my labels are all, I printed so many and done so many that this one might be a little bit too small, but I'll still use this one. Just stick it on there. And there's your little box. It's so cute, right? Okay, let's talk about this for a second. The Here Comes and the Amazon. I did Amazon in caps letter so that it kind of fits width-wise with Here Comes. I mean, it's not completely, right? It's space, it's um, 
center align. So there's like a little bit of space in between, but it's very balanced. So here comes Amazon, here comes Amazon. You put it on, it's super easy to apply this one because it's, um, th there's a curve, but it's equal like from top to bottom. It's not like a funnel. So it's super easy to put this on. And it's just fake snow in there, different size packages like a super mini one and one of these big ones. So I'm trying to see, like one of these mini ones. So cute. And still very easy to, to do. I would say that with the with the actual Amazon boxes, I did it on paper um, just to try it out. And it's a lot easier with thicker, um, heavier cardstock. So this is about 80 pounds. I did the copy paper, which I think copy paper is about 30 pounds, 40 pounds. And it, it didn't stick up. Whereas this, like you saw how it, it, it kind of stands up. And so it's easy to put the glue on and just hold it in place. So it's a lot easier to do this than it was on paper. But I did the, I did do laser copy paper as well. It just didn't look as nice. And this brown is so perfect. It just looks like the Amazon box. All right, I hope that was helpful. I'm so sorry that the first one had audio issues. Um, have a great holiday. I hope you make a ton of these. These are just so fun. Um, I will see you guys next year. Thank you so much. Don't forget to put down your request though, because we're doing requests for next year, especially starting with Valentine projects. So if you want to see something, let me know, um, questions, all that good stuff. I will see you guys around. Happy new year.